What's up guys, this is Chris Ewing Crosby and today I've got a quick tutorial on how to fix edge glow from your landscape images in Adobe Photoshop. Edge glow is something that we'll see on the edges of a uh, horizon or on a sharp edge where there's a lot of contrast. For example, if you look at this photo that I have here from Yosemite, you'll notice that the mountain line is very dark where the horizon line is, I guess you could say, and then it's very bright behind it. So if we were to zoom in, for example, in this area of the photo, and I'm going to zoom in quite a bit here at 400% or 4 to 1, as you see down here at the bottom, and you'll notice that we have this white line that's around the edge. And this is what I call edge glow. Um, it can occur in t because of two things. Um, one, it could become because of chromatic aberration on the lens, which in my case, I think it was. This image was shot on a Canon 16 to 35 version 2 f 2.8 and uh, usually it does have a little bit of chromatic aberration in these situations so if i remove that in lightroom it's most likely going to show up as this which is white meaning it's removed the actual color of the chromatic aberration but it still can't fix the actual tone of the chromatic aberration it also can occur if you're editing in lightroom and you go ahead and let's take a look at some sliders that you want to avoid. For example, if you use the texture slider here, for example, or the clarity slider, clarity seems to add edge glow and you can see that happen here as I move the clarity slider up. So what I'm going to show you today is a quick and easy method to fix this edge glow in your images so that when you go and print them large, you have nice clean edges and they look crisp. Okay. So let's edit this in Photoshop. We're going to go ahead and right click on the photo, choose edit in and edit in Photoshop. And I want you to choose edit a, a copy with Lightroom adjustments just to ensure that you're editing a photo that, um, for example, in my case, this is a TIFF file that I've already edited in Photoshop. Um, if you are still in a raw file, then just go ahead and choose to open it with Lightroom's adjustments. If you've made any adjustments to this file, you're going to want to open it as such. You could also start by fixing this in a uh, raw file before you start editing as well. I'm going to choose edit with Lightroom adjustments. Let's open that in Photoshop and let's get started. So first things first, we only need to do one thing. With our background layer here locked, I'm going to add a new layer and I'm going to choose that the blending mode of that layer to darken. Then what we're going to do is we're going to choose our clone tool and we're going to make sure that our flow and opacity is at 100%. I like to use the aligned method, meaning I check the box here that says aligned. And what that does is as I paint um, the place, for example, if I were to, let's, let's show you how that works. Um, if I were to sample right here, wherever I paint, it's going to start and stick with me in, in, that, uh, in that part of the image. So as my cursor moves right, the sampled area moves right. As it moves up, the sampled area moves up, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's take a step back and let's zoom back out. The other thing I want you to make sure you're doing is make sure that you have the sample, meaning the layer that you're going to sample from for your clone tool set to current and below, or all layers would be fine in this case because we only have two layers. So on the top layer here, we're going to make sure that we zoom all the way in uh, to, oh, hit enter here, get out of that prompt. Let's zoom all the way in to our tree line. Maybe not that far, just a little bit further out. Oops, that was too far. Okay, so this looks pretty good and maybe even a little bit further. Okay, that's great. Now, I want you to use a cursor that's fairly small. Because the edge is small, there's no reason for us to use a cursor, for example, or a brush size, I should say, this large or this small. But we want to use something about like this, just enough to cover the area of the tree or where the edge is. And what I'm going to do in this example for this photo is I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt button and I'm going to sample an area close to where I'd like to start or just above where I'd like to start, but close in terms of color. Um, for example, I think this would work just fine in this area on this photo. And I'm going to click once to sample that area. 
Then I'm going to come down with my brush and I'm going to start brushing along the horizon line here. Now, some key things that are happening here. I am, in fact, using the clone tool to brush in part of the sky here in our edge glow. Okay. Now, the reason why it's not brushing over the trees here is because I've set this layer here, layer one, or we could call this the clone layer, for example, is set to darken mode, meaning it's only going to darken the image um, where it is brighter. And for example, if we look over here, the edge glow is brighter than the sky. So I'm sampling from the sky and painting in this area. And because I'm sampling from the sky, it is brighter than the foreground. And because my mode is set to darken, it's only going to darken what is darker than what's being sampled. So the sky is bright. It's only going to paint in this area here, which is actually brighter than the sky actually is. So what I usually do is just continue on. And you might need to resample depending on how the image kind of gets uh, manipulated with your horizon line if you have to go around objects. Um, but I usually resample and just continue brushing. And you'll notice that that edge glow is just slowly disappearing there. You may need to go back over an area once or twice. Um, I'm using a brush of, uh, well, I, I usually use a soft brush here. And um, so it, sometimes I just miss parts of the area with my softer brush. But in theory, we just kind of paint along here. I'm going to speed up this video and we'll show you what the result looks like when we get done. Okay, now that we're done, we can go in and take a look at what we've done with this edge fix layer or clone layer. And if we zoom way in, it's really apparent here on the mountain, you can see the whiteness coming in here. If I turn it back on, you can see that that white glow has just disappeared. Now, if you wanted to give a better before and after, we can go back into Lightroom and let's take a quick comparison here in Lightroom before and after zoomed in at 100%. Give me a moment here and I'll give you a nice full screen look at this. Okay, so if we were to zoom in, for example, <clears throat> let's choose that tree line. On the left, you should have the uh, final product and on the right, we have the before. So you can see really well where that edge here is and how this tool has taken it away. So hopefully you guys find this tutorial helpful in your own images. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and to follow all of my social media channels for more tips in the future. For now, this is Chris Ewing Crosby signing out, and hopefully we'll see you soon.